Praise the Lord. I welcome you to this new week. As we are going in this week, the Lord has laid my heart to tell you that you should not allow negative thoughts to dwell in your mind. Don't put your mind to negative thoughts. You may not be able to stop negative thoughts from coming to your mind, but you can stop your mind from dwelling on it. Don't allow things that are going on around you, the present economy, the situation of your boss, the situation of your family, to dictate what you dwell upon. Don't allow fear of death, fear of failure, fear of what people might do to control your mind. Instead, allow the Word of God to dwell in your mind. Allow the Word of God to control your thoughts. Whenever negative thoughts come to your mind, use the Word of God. Use your faith in God. Use your knowledge of God. Use faith to block out, to kick out those negative thoughts. Allow faith to rule your mind. Allow trust in God to rule your mind. Allow your knowledge of the Word of God to rule your mind. Allow prayer to control your mind. When the God comes, overcome them, set them out with prayer, with word of faith, with word of courage, with what you want. Let your mind always dwell on what you want. Do you want promotion? Tell yourself, and oh, my promotion is coming. Do you want sources in, the, in an exam you have written? Tell yourself, I'm going to pass the exam, no matter what you have written, no matter the situation. And as touching the economy or your pulse, no matter the sin of your pulse, tell yourself, I am blessed. That need, tell God, tell yourself, the Lord will meet my need. The Bible says, the Lord shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory in Christ, not according to the economy, not according to your pulse. And the Bible says, guide your heart with all diligence, protect your mind, because out of it come the issue of life. In other words, what God will allow in your life, what will come to reality in your life depends on what you allow your mind to dwell upon. It is your vision, your dream, your trust, your belief that will determine what God will allow to happen in your life. So if you allow doubt, if you allow fear, automatically you have allowed Satan to, come to, to determine what will come to pass in your life. When you allow negative thoughts, you, you hold God from intervening in your life. But when you allow faith, when you allow courage, when you allow trust in God, when you allow the knowledge of the Word of God to control your thought, then you are given power to divine intervention in your life. I pray as you go out this week, the Lord will be your strength. The Lord will be your sufficiency. I pray for the help of the Holy Spirit not to allow negative thought to rule your mind, to dwell in your mind, to control your mind. Receive that help of the Holy Spirit now in the name of Jesus. Every evil agenda against your life this week, I cancel them in the name of Jesus. I speak in the name of the Lord as God's oracle that the divine provision is your portion in Jesus' name. Divine protection is your portion in Jesus' name. Favor will locate you in Jesus' name. Help will come from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west unto you in Jesus' name. Your household shall be at peace in Jesus' name. In your place of work, I pray you enjoy peace of God. You enjoy favor of God. You enjoy mercy of God in the name of Jesus. I pray that the grace of God will abound more upon your life in Jesus' name. Everyone is sin against you, I pray they are crushed before you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. It is well with you. Have a wonderful week. In Jesus' name, I prayed. Amen. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Are you blessed by this message and prayer, and you are led to bless the man of God? Kindly send your support to this bank details. Oyejin Me Samuel Sunday. First Bank, 301-422-1072, or Pompey. 803-455-6927. As you do that, the Lord who gives seed to sours will replenish you more abundantly in Jesus' name. 
you are richly blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.